Hello everybody, it's the Warm, and I'm back again with some more VLR. Last time we went ahead, or went back I should say, back to the past, and we were able to save Akane and find out why she wasn't in the room this time on this whole branch, and <clears throat> now we have returned after getting a key from her, and now presumably we're going to go meet her by using the key she gave us here. <clears throat> I do have, um, I have a guest today, so out of uh, courtesy, um, I'm going to be a bit more quiet tonight, because uh, I do not want to... <clears throat> trouble them. So I'm just going to try and keep my voice a bit quieter, and um, we will just continue on from there, okay? All right, let's see where the game takes us. Um, what should we do? Are we going to dig her out? <laughs> no, no, I don't think we'll do anything like that. You see... You see the keyhole on the grave? If I just insert this here, I pulled the key off my ankle and fitted it into the hole. I twisted it to the right until I heard something unlock. With a quiet grinding, the grave began to shift. What is this? It doesn't look like a coffin. Yeah, it's a treatment pod. Oh my god. It is, isn't it? The glass on the cover had frosted over, making it opaque. We couldn't see who or what was inside it. Let's see what's inside. She grabbed a hold of the lever on the side of the pod. No good. I think it's locked. <laughs> what? Treatment pod. T P zero zero stage one defrosting complete stage two will be complete in ten minutes. Once stage two is complete, the lock will automatically disengage. Right, cold sleep. These pods can put people into cold sleep. It uses something called the CAS to freeze human bodies without destroying their cells. So, Mizukane's like an ice cube? Then we gotta so. wait till she melts? Yeah. So how about you tell us your story while we wait, Kay? Specifically, why do you know Akane? I remembered. What do you remember? Everything. I was born and raised in this facility. It's called Rhizome 9. A rhizome is an underground plant stem that spreads by sending out roots. Kind of makes sense, doesn't it? This facility is a little like a rhizome. Supposedly, that's why they call these installations that. The number comes from the facility's number. There are 54 rhizomes on the moon, and this is the ninth one. Well, I suppose the other ones don't really matter to you, do they? In any event, I grew up here with Akane and Zero Senior. I watched them create the AB project. The AB project? Yes. Its purpose is to send Phi and Sigma, or their consciousnesses at least, to the past. Back 45 years, right? Yes. So, you want us to change history, huh? Go back and keep Radical Six from getting out, and stop the reactors from exploding. That's our mission? Well, not exactly. What do you mean? It's true that the ultimate goal of the project is to keep Radical Six from spreading to the general population. But even if you do make it back, you won't be able to do much. By now, it's already too late. Too late? <laughs> what do you mean? Let me begin at the beginning. You might be thinking that Zero Senior and Akane were the ones who created all this. But that's not entirely correct. They only followed the histories they'd already seen. It was the only choice they had. Nothing less than the future of mankind is at stake. We need the two of you to jump through timelines while maintaining your memories. That is why you had to play the A-B game. 
and why the chromatic doors were necessary. By forcing multiple options, you could make numerous jumps. We speculated that jumping more would strengthen your memories. The puzzles were also there for a purpose. Some theories hold that a moment of insight when you solve a puzzle strengthens your connection to the fourth dimension. That was the reason for the puzzles. Your infection with Radical Six was also a vital part of our plan. By slowing down your brain's processing speed, we can store your potential. With that energy stored up, we just had to provide a life or death situation to launch your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Like a bullet from a slingshot. Wait, hold on just a minute here. You keep talking about Sigma and Phi, but what about the rest of us? Why did you bring us here? That simple. In earlier histories, you were all here in Rhizome 9. Hmm. Is this saying what I think it's saying? We needed you here to accurately replicate those histories. Although I suppose that's probably not a good enough explanation for you. In a sense, though, it is the truth. Our primary goal was to replicate history. The rest is... Yes. I suppose I should explain. Very well. I will try and do so in a way you can understand. First, Alice and Clover. They were abducted 45 years and one month ago, on December 22nd, 2028. The location is Earth, of course. More specifically, Los Angeles, California. Correct? Yes. Yeah. After being kidnapped, your bodies were sent to a facility under Akane's direction. You were placed in treatment pods and immediately put into cold sleep. Four months later, you arrived at this facility. The date you finally arrived was April 14th, 2029. Your trip from Earth to this facility was aboard a spaceship powered by an annihilation engine. Following your arrival, your pods were placed in long-term storage. Does that make sense? Are you telling me we were sleeping in those pods here for 45 years? Yes, in preparation for this day. But why? What do you need us for? You are an Esper, aren't you, Clover? I mean that you are able to access the fourth dimension. Am I wrong? Did Akane tell you? In a manner of speaking, as I've already explained, the purpose of this project is to send Sigma and Phi's consciousnesses to the past. Espers are able to sort of resonate with one another, which can amplify their power. You understand? This is why we brought you here, Clover. To enhance us. What about me? We needed your help, Alice, to deactivate Dio's bombs. Huh? But I didn't do anything. But you did, in another history. You were able to perform a prime decomposition on the 25-digit integer that Dio left behind. Only you could do that sort of thing. Because of your feat of mathematics, we were about to determine that Dio had planted the bombs. Then we were able to question him and get the password for the number 31. Finally, we used that information to stop the bomb in this timeline. Without your help, Alice, would have been reduced to nothing more than so much space dust. This history exists because of your presence. Now, let me explain why we needed Tenmyoji and Quark. Tenmyoji is simple. We needed you for the same reason we needed Clover. You are able to access the fourth dimension. Almost half a century ago, you used that ability to save a young girl, didn't you? Yeah, I did. We needed you to resonate with Sigma and Phi. So we brought you here. All it took was a messenger. Do you want to see Akane? If you do, come with me. I was a fool and fell for it. And you brought Quark with you. In fact, you insisted that he come. Yeah, I know. I guess you were worried about leaving me alone, huh? He kept saying he couldn't run off to the moon and leave me behind. I'm sorry, Quark. If I hadn't been so stupid and selfish, none of this would have happened to you. I never thought this would happen. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, don't worry about it. I mean, I agreed to come with you. I thought the moon would be way more interesting than boring old Earth. What kid would turn that down? We didn't see the messenger after we got on the ship. It was on autopilot. As soon as we got in, we headed straight for the moon. During the trip, Zero told me to keep quiet once we got there. I don't remember anything after we landed. Then there was a bunch of that white smoke, and we passed out, and when I woke up, I was in the AB room. Now, Dio, his real name is Left, and he's the leader of a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. He was ordered to come here, 
The Myrmidons are under the control of an organization called Free the Soul, which is in turn controlled by a man known as Brother. It was Brother who orchestrated the release of Radical Six into the general population 45 years ago. Do you remember what Phi mentioned earlier? The ultimate purpose of the AB project is to change history and keep Radical Six from being released. If we succeed, that would be bad for Brother and his organization. Our success would prevent them from creating the ideal world they're working toward. That is why Brother sent Left, his trusted lieutenant, to this facility. They needed to stop the AB project. So, Dio was given two tasks. The first was to eliminate Akane, the architect of the AB project. The second was to join the AB game and win it. If Dio won the game, the AB project would not be completed, at least not in that timeline. In other words, in that world, the project would have been stopped. If things didn't go as planned, Dio was given a contingency plan. If you cannot murder Akane and win the game, destroy Rhizome 9, hence the bombs. Can I ask you something? Perhaps. How did Brother know about the AB project? He was also an Esper. We can set Brother aside for now, though. May I proceed? No one objected. We were all curious. Excellent. That explains everyone. Save two, Luna, and myself. Sigma and Phi already know the truth about Luna. I don't believe I should reveal any more, however. I think it would be more appropriate if you could ask Luna yourselves at a later time. Would that be all right with you, Luna? Yes, that's okay. As for me, as I said before, I was born and raised here. The rest of you were brought to this facility, but I've never left. That makes me someone close to Zero Senior and Akane. Hey, I've been wondering, who is Zero Senior? Okay, here we go. You've already met him, Sigma, in another timeline. <laughs> yeah. Well, I saw a hologram. I still don't know who he is. Stage two is complete. T P. Zero, zero. Unlocking. It looks like it's finished. Shall we open the pod? <laughs> yeah, let's do it. You know, I'm I'm half thinking here that Akane's not going to be in it for some reason. Let's find out. All of us gathered around the pod. The glass was still covered with frost, hiding the contents. Okay, let's get started then. Ready? Phi laid her hand on the lever and looked around at us. I swallowed. <laughs> yeah, any time. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Okay. <laughs> um, well, not Akane. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is confirming the whole Sigma clone thing. Alright. Wh what? Suddenly my head was full of memories from other timelines. I'd seen something like this before. The warehouse warehouse on 4B. In front of the right door. Kay was lying in front of me. I grabbed his mask and I saw my own face. I'd never figured out who he really was. Why was there a man with my face underneath Kay's armor? It didn't make sense. After I'd seen him, I was injected with tubocurarine and that was the end of that. But, wait. If the person in the pod was the same person I'd seen on the floor of the warehouse... Who was wearing Kay's armor? You finally noticed. Didn't I tell you? You won't be alone. I will be at your side, watching over you. No. Oh my god. You're... Yes, I am.
Akane Kurashiki. Okay. So wait, that was K in the pod. So in, the, so, what is it? After Sigma and Phi get put back in the elevator, back here, She then takes out K of his suit, puts him in the pod, and then she goes back in and puts the suit on. And so in this timeline, it was her in, in K's suit the whole time, is that it? Huh. It's... it's you! June! I, I mean, Akane! From... but... you're old. Yes, that's correct. I haven't spoken to you in a very long time, Clover. Or you, Junpei. J junpei Akane. Long time no see. I could barely hear what they were saying. My mind was still reeling. I felt like all the air had been knocked out of me, and it, it was all I could to do not to collapse right there and then. When? How long? Do you remember when the two of you saved me in the warehouse? Once you saved me, you went back to your future. Well, your minds did at least. I carried your bodies to the third AB room, and then took Dio's to the fifth. After that, I went into the first room and borrowed Kay's armor. So by the time you and Clover came out, you'd already... Yes. Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Dio killed you. And then Luna took your body to the sixth room. You couldn't have been in Kay's armor. No, it was me. In this timeline, at least. In this one, I wasn't murdered by Dio. You two saved me. It's just like Schrodinger's cat. Your actions in the future decided who would be inside the armor in the past. What? No, that's nuts. All right, what about the other history? The one where you weren't saved? What happens then? Who's wearing the armor? That's quite simple. The man in front of you. Him? That's correct. Whenever I'm not in the armor, he is. What about the memory loss? For my part, I confess that I lied. He, on the other hand, was telling the truth. It's good to know that, um, remember, it was actually quite a few episodes ago, I speculated, do you think the mask changes the voice a bit? Because, you know, I was thinking if, if K and Sigma are the same, or, or clones at least, Shouldn't their voices sound similar? Of course, they'd have to be of, of a similar age, right? But presuming that they were, I was thinking their ages or and voices would be similar. But now we know. Yes, the the mask can, or the suit changes your voice. Large doses of soporil can cause memory loss. I gave him a rather large dose. So, who is he? You've never seen him before? No. What about the rest of you? I have no idea who he is. I've never seen him before. Me either. Total stranger. <laughs> hey, hey, uh, come on. What are you guys saying? Is this, is this gonna be the reveal of the other thing? Like the old comments we got? Is this that? 
Right here? Same face? Huh? Huh? Are you all right, Mr. Sigma? Did you hit your head or something? Although... Didn't we... Haven't there been scenes... Like... I have a, I have a memory... Like, I think it was... Do you remember there was a certain moment where we, we were, uh... Knocked out. We, we were knocked out by K, I think? And he dragged... Phi and Sigma into the white door, I think? And... In that instance, I'm pretty sure we saw our 3D model. You know, it was from far away, but, you know, we were, um... It, you know, black hair slender guy so we can't be that different to how this guy is right huh what it didn't make any sense why didn't they recognize me sigma your consciousness can jump through time you can inhabit your body in the past or in the future what does that mean don't you get it? You've jumped to the future from 45 years ago. I looked around frantically. A pond. I ran to it and threw myself down to my knees. Crawling on all fours, I approached the edge. My heart was hammering inside my chest. A cold sweat trickled down my spine. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down, damn it. I struggled to take deep breaths, and slowly, slowly, I peered into the pond, looking for my reflection. Really? Huh. Okay, so the old man comments do make sense. Um. How come no one has ever mentioned our. our eye? Ever? Surely that would have been something someone would have asked about at some point. And, and yes, we did, I'm pretty dang sure we've seen our character's model from afar. And it was definitely the younger guy. So, that's a bit unfair game. And haven't we seen mirrors before? Wasn't there a mirror in the infirmary? Or was it... I think that one might have been covered up. Was that one covered up? Yeah, because it, for this to work, there has to be no like reflective surfaces. Well, the, there's here. I guess they were just relying on luck that we wouldn't look in the pond. That seems a bit... Uh, that seems a bit much. Wait. For Bee Garden, oh wait, wait, wait! In Bee Garden, it, one of the puzzles isn't one of the puzzles looking in the pond, or do you only have to do that when the lights are off? Man, okay, sorry. This seems a bit. <laughs> this feels like a bit much to me, a bit. Is contrived the right word? I don't know. Maybe maybe you guys can comment on this or something. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Sigma zero. That's that was kind of the final. Um, that was my final guess for that back a few episodes so I guess I'm glad to be correct but 
I thought it was going to be something like we were a clone of zero rather than being zero actually zero okay what no this can't be real Th that this face it's your face dr sigma climb sigma climb and wait our name is just sigma okay i mean i guess there have been stranger names Hmm. Okay. Although, to the you that's behind it now, it's your face 45 years from now. Zero. The mastermind of the AB project. Is you. I guess that's, uh... <laughs> there's another reason why there wasn't a voice actor, right? Because the... The voice... Well, that doesn't make sense, though. That, that doesn't make sense for the for the character in the story. What? No, that's not possible. Oh, well, we did have the voice actor from the hologram. Hmm. That's not possible. It's bullshit. No, it's the truth. Fighting it isn't going to do you any good. Please, Doctor. I'm not a doctor. You will be. A pioneer in the field of genetic engineering. You're lying. No, I'm not. You created him. Well, I suppose I should say you are going to create him. Create? His name is Kyle Klein, your clone. Aha, uh -huh. yes. That is why he looks just like a younger version of yourself. 23 years ago, in the biolab here in Rhizome 9, you created Kyle. Well, I suppose for you, that's still in the future. When I said I was born and raised here, I was still pretending to be him. The gravity here is only one-sixth of Earth's. If nothing was done, the reduced gravity would cause his bones to be weaker than normal human ones. But you prepared for that. You gave him that armor. Ever since he was born, he's lived inside of it. It kept his muscles and bones strong. He wasn't forced into it for the nonary game. He's been wearing it every day, all his life. But why would I... Why would future me create a clone? He was to be your spare. If something happened to you before the project began, he would take your place. I mentioned before that the AB projects A and B stood for after and before. That isn't all they mean, though. The A also means anima, and the B means body. Anima is another word for the soul or the consciousness. Body is, well, exactly what it says on the tin. The past consciousness will go into the future body, and the future consciousness will go into the past body. Uh -huh. They switch. Okay, so this, I guess this is another, uh... This is another rule. Wait, so is that always the case? So in every every time we've ever jumped with within this, it's always a switch. <sighs> oh my goodness. So I think last time I talked a bit about how you know, there's infinite of these timelines. There are many more that we don't see. And in all those ones, it's... Consciousnesses... Bumping consciousnesses back and forth? Like, my goodness, this has to be such a huge mess. How does that even work? <clears throat> it feels like there should be... It feels like we should be being bumped back and forth... Over and over constantly. I don't know. I don't know. I... I I feel like this is... 
Never mind. That was the chief goal of the project. Wait. So the future person goes into the past person? Sigma, do you remember the note you found in the garden? You mean this, right? Yes. Ah, of course, it was you who investigated the garden in this timeline. Yeah. Sigma, take a good look at this. It's an illustration of the time jumps your consciousness is making. A is where everything began. December 25th, 2028. You inhaled the white smoke in your car and lost consciousness. From there, you jumped to B. January 25th, 2074. You woke up in one of the AB rooms in Rhizome 9. You are in your own body, but it is 67 years old. Your consciousness has jumped 45 years into the future. I believe that may explain why you didn't notice the reduced lunar gravity. The body you woke up in was much older. Normally, you would have noticed that your muscles were much weaker. In this case, however, the lower gravity balanced that out. Moving on, if you continue along this line, what happens next? You reach C, which is January 27, 2074. That is today. Whoa. Wait, what do you mean? Are you saying it's been two days since we woke up? 36 hours to be exact. Have you already forgotten? You were all infected with radical sex. The virus slowed your brain down. So yes, 36 hours of real time have passed. But to you, it only seemed like 14 hours and 40 minutes. Now comes the important part. After this, your consciousness will return to the past. It will re-emerge at point D. April 13th, 2029. You will return to your younger body. But that's the same day as the reactor explosions. Yes. That is why I said it will be too late. You will return to the past. But the events you would want to prevent will have already happened. The story does not end there, however. The line continues. After reaching point D, you will eventually return to B. But this time, you won't be jumping through time, or at least not at a rate faster than normal. Your consciousness will spend 45 years inhabiting the same body until you reach point B. Do you remember when B is, Sigma? January 25th, 2074. According to what you just told us, it's 36 hours ago. Correct. That was when the consciousness of the 22-year-old Sigma jumped into the body of 67-year-old Sigma. So where did the older version of you go when you took his body? <laughs> Point A, December 25th, 2028, the day all of this started. Yes, his consciousness will go back in time 45 years. For a period of time, he will inhabit your younger body. While your younger consciousness is elsewhere, he will be you in the past. But once the body reaches point D, my 22-year-old consciousness will come back from point C. That's correct. When that happens, the older version of you will be ejected from your younger body and return to your body at C. So it's... rotating? 
Rotating. I suppose you could put it that way. But look at this illustration closely. What if you take all these lines and untangle them? You get one single line. It may look complicated, but in truth, it's a single straight path. With one exception. <laughs> this line here at point E, right? Exactly. Point E is December 31st, 2028. The day of the total eclipse. <laughs> the day Radical 6 got out of the test facility. Yes. By now, you've likely figured it out on your own. The purpose of the AB project was to get the consciousness of the 67-year-old Sigma from point B to point A. If we can do that, we can change what happened 45 years ago. <laughs> so the old version of me will keep Radical 6 from getting out. <laughs> By jumping into my 22-year-old body on New Year's Eve 2028. Yes, that is why this line could not be interrupted. In order for the 67-year-old version of you to reach point B, we first have to go through point D. In order to get to point D, we must jump from point C. And for point C to happen, we had to recreate everything that happened in this facility. That is why we have faithfully retraced history up to this point. So that we might save humankind from destruction and undo the horrors of the last 45 years. <laughs> Tell me one thing. What is that? You said that point C is January 27th, 2074, which is today. There's going to be a jump. And I'll jump to April 13th, 2029. Yes, that's right. But, look, I'm still old. When is this jump supposed to happen? Very soon, yes. Soon? And what's going to trigger it? We need potential energy stored to send your consciousness into the fourth dimension. Fortunately, we now have plenty of that. Thanks, ironically, to Radical Six. All that remains is to launch your consciousness, like a bullet from a slingshot. And how do you propose we do that? Didn't I tell you? A crisis. A moment balanced between life and death. That can jumpstart your brain. Uh, what do you mean? You haven't figured it out. I mean this. Theo's knife. No sooner were the words out of my mouth. <laughs> Fie. I screamed and leapt toward them. Akane was already in motion, the knife driving toward Fie's chest. I was almost there. When I regained consciousness, I was on the floor. There was a dull pain in my chest. I felt for a cut, but something was in the way. It took me to realize that it was Akane's body lying on top of me. I twisted my le neck to look around. Nearby was an old tombstone. On it was written a few words in Latin.
Okay. All right. I, I knew there had to be more. I, I, <laughs> so who is Phi then? Everyone got an explanation except her. Maybe that'll be this? Hmm. Okay. Huh. Well, I guess I might have to think about a bit more of the reveals again. We, I mean, we got pretty much everything answered, except Phi. We, we still need to know about Phi. Um, I, so I guess we're going to be going back and um, implementing the plan or something like that. So wait. Okay. I need I need to go back and see some of that scene those scenes again. Um yeah, okay. So I guess there's still a lot <laughs> left to find out about. Um I think we'll be we'll just be continuing on next time then. All right, I've been the warm. This has been VLR and I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.